what is up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing really really well um you know what the weather here in dublin is absolutely awesome at the minute it is 19 degrees that is celsius by the way not fahrenheit but yeah 19 degrees it's not so common for us in dublin here and um, but i'm absolutely loving it i'll tell you what i'm not loving though i'll tell you what i am not loving so much the continued crap i continue to read about from the Harry Potter TV series. I mean, can I not just be left alone at this point, guys? Can people just not move on? Just stop. Look, you've seen the title of the video. The radical activists are at it again. This time vowing they'll make sure Harry Potter won't survive JK Rowling. Like, they'll be the ones to make sure Harry Potter doesn't survive. They'll be ending the multi-billion dollar franchise of Harry Potter. Forget the theme parks, they're gone. Forget the Warner Brothers studio tour, that's gone. The merch, the movies are all gone. Because these people are going to make sure that the boy who lived is going to be the boy who was cancelled. It's just laughable, really. It's, uh, you know, if we actually look at what I just mentioned about the theme parks, like, you know, why is there no outrageous protests outside these theme parks? Like, where's all the people? Like, there's so much crap about not giving J.K. Rowling more money by buying a video game like Hogwarts Legacy or, you know, having a HBO subscription when... The park alone generates hundreds of millions of dollars weekly. The merch sales, the websites, there's just so much money being made and like nobody has tried to do anything about that. And that's because it's so much easier to sit on your ass with a phone in your hand, tweeting away, let's make a change and take down Harry Potter. Woo. I mean, it absolutely, it baffles me being honest. Um... Speaking of being honest, I have to be honest. At the beginning of all this controversy surrounding J.K. Rowling's comments, the activists did gain traction. Like, quite a lot of fans, a hell of a lot of fans jumped on the bandwagon. I was even one of them. I was like, well, why would J.K. Rowling hate on all these trans people? Why would she do that? Until I realised it was absolutely nothing to do with any kind of hatred towards trans people, but more so the biological argument of what it meant represented. The whole lot, I just, I won't get into it, guys. We all know. But anyway, not to pat myself on the back here, you know, I'm not looking for any credit or anything like that, but I finally had the courage to not be afraid anymore to speak how I felt, even though that resulted in awful attacks on myself and even my one-year-old son who was told to go choke on his scarf, which is disgusting to say the very least, but... um. Anyway, a lot of people turned on Rowling. Her products suffered. Fantastic Beasts was literally ignored, even though it was just not such a good movie franchise. But even Warner Brothers themselves began minimalizing J.K. Rowling's name on the credits. Um, it was literally just, they're trying to make her involvement as small as possible and, you know, distance themselves from the writer. And at one point even offered to purchase the entire series as a whole from JK. But the offer didn't come remotely close. And I mean remotely close to the figure JK had in her head. Joe even said she overpriced her property to scare Warner off from bidding again. And they haven't. She has not nor has she ever had any intent to sell Harry Potter. So you know the secrets of Dumbledore flops bad and as of recent news the franchise is shelved permanently so it's goodbye to fantastic beasts we'll see you later um now for the best part of a year rowling would tweet her support in relation to what she said she knew she couldn't backtrack so believed it was correct to stick by what she believed and um, the limelight never really left her and then of course hogwarts legacy is released and the whole woke streamer the woke organizations from that play games or whatever you want to call them um, they literally just arose from the dead and were just wanted to boycott this game so badly um, they staged what they believe was going to be a successful boycott um, which actually had the opposite effect and the game broke multiple sales records it seemed like it was a case of you know don't tell me what to do or I'll do the exact opposite. And that stemmed from the absolute aggression showed to those who wanted to play the game. And then it became, don't play that game. And if you do, we'll legit destroy you. Like, 
what kind of behavior is that like it's just it's absolutely madness like if someone tells me don't you dare buy that game or we're gonna ruin you i'm gonna go buy the game just to piss them off even if i don't want to do you know what i mean it's kind of like you know a retaliation attack to being attacked in the first place like a, a defense mechanism if that makes sense so now these people are back again and they're going to make sure that the new harry potter tv series won't survive jk rowling Ooh, like what's the plan here you know what's the plan of attack maybe attack the hbo headquarters bombard the closed set when they're shooting harass the child actors maybe for taking roles of young wizards as always it starts with the most irrelevant platform in existence with no credibility whatsoever and that is twitter so i pulled up some comments let's have a look at these latest comments um one person says i'm going to read it out here they're remaking Harry Potter again, either because they're not creative enough to come up with new ideas that will sell and or because Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint and Emma Watson all spoke out against J.K. Rowling's transphobia and she doesn't want them associated as leads. Above all else, a Harry Potter TV series is just not feasible with today's television model. CGI heavy franchise TV seasons now have two year gaps between seasons minimum. You cannot recreate the growing up with the cast feeling when every actor is in their 30s for season 7. Well, Paul, that's not really going to make an impact. And in relation to the original cast, Daniel does not want to come back. He's no interest in reprising his role as Harry Potter. He's moved on and he's happy. Rupert will not return unless the original trio sign on. So that's not happening. And Emma Watson is going to publicly speak out against the show when it's released. So, you know, it's not a question of Rowling not wanting him back. It's, they don't want to come back anyway. Another quote reads, Once again, I'm begging you all, don't stream this. Don't give any more time, attention or money to anything Harry Potter related. JK Rowling has been reported to be profiting off this. It's all a money grab for fear of losing relevance. She's a shit human being. Don't support shit. So she's been reported as profiting off of all of this. Excellent discovery, like absolutely excellent discovery, Sherlock. That's what happens when you are the creator and owner of an entire franchise. You profit off everything. She will never lose relevance. Harry Potter is the biggest selling book franchise of all time. And that won't change. So she's always going to be in the spotlight. It just makes sense. Um, another quote reads, Can we all pretend that the Harry Potter show isn't happening like no one even mentions it from now on we don't even talk about it it just doesn't exist treat that show the way hbo max treats its queer shows so what way does hbo max treat its queer shows not plaster them all over the home screen on the app because you've justified in your head it should be that way um the home screen is based on new shows being launched and the show's popularity that's it Someone did actually chime in with a dose of reality saying, I hate to tell you, but people are going to talk about it for weeks and it may have an okay or above average rating due to the characters not being played by the original movie cast. Um, that's a very true statement. It's, it has been talked about for weeks now and it will continue to be talked about all the way until shooting begins and we get the news of the cast choice. Speaking of which, should be sometime in July. That's what I'm being told, guys. Um, again, these are unconfirmed reports, but um, I'm being told that we're going to get something in July, whether it is a cast announcement or maybe a proper trailer. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be a cast announcement because, you know, that's the first step before the actual trailer but anyway um let us move on guys um i'm you know something i'm i'm interested to see you know how things progress as the series moves forward guys um i'm interested to see the actual level of this promised boycott that the show is going to receive um and just how the activists will make sure that harry potter doesn't survive jk rowling like what lengths will they be going in order to make that mark you could say do me a favor guys let me know your opinions on what direction you want the show to go in and um, do you actually want it to pay homage to to the movies or do you feel like you know it would do more harm than good um but anyway 
let me know in the comment section below guys you want a fresh completely new project new theme new logo new everything or do you want you know a little bit about let me know thank you very much for watching guys as always feel free to leave me a like it will really really help this video i'm absolutely like hemorrhaging subscribers at the minute um for you know continuing to support harry potter uh for every 10,000 subscribers i gain in a month i lose 10,000 just still baffles me but anyway guys have a good one i'm still here i'm not going anywhere i'm still happy to make harry potter videos i'm still happy to support the franchise and i'm still happy to be all of your friend um thanks again and i will see you for the next video